for Andy Choi. Andy, I understand you've been talking tonight to a highway safety expert. That's right, Joanne. If you're on the road with a working airbag, you can thank this expert for setting some pretty high traffic safety standards since the Carter administration, and she's got a lot to say about all that's unfolding with GM. Automotive safety has been the foundation of Joan Claybrook's career as former head of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. You know, it's not a popular job. In fact, people hate you. You know, I can tell you that General Motors hates me. So what? You know, that's my attitude. They nicknamed me the Dragon Lady because they don't like me. In a lecture for Wayne State University law students titled, Who is Covering for Whom? Claybrook says GM may have designed the faulty ignition switch, but government agencies like the one she used to run 30 years ago should have at least opened an investigation without waiting for data from General Motors. You don't have to establish long trend data and you don't have to have a million consumer complaints. You do not have to have all of that other uh, stuff that, that uh, the Department of Transportation is, is claiming it needed to have in order to open an investigation. In addition, Claybrook says there's a defect in legislation, from lack of government transparency to penalties that don't fit the crime. Claybrook says it's time to make an automaker's failure to recall a criminal offense. If the executives think that they or their staff can go to jail, for um, knowingly and willfully covering up a defect, they're not going to knowingly and willfully cover up a defect because they're going to know it's there. And I've been trying to get criminal penalties in this statute since 1966. Now, back in the late 70s, when Ms. Claybrook was head of NHTSA or the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, staff numbers were at 900. Now, Today, you're at 600. Now, Ms. Claybrook also talks about money. She says the budget is just too low for NHTSA. She says at $134 million, it's not enough to oversee all the different traffic safety standards that we've come to expect here out on the roads. For now, we're live in Detroit. Andy Choi, 7 Action News. Okay.